Can a chocolate chip cookie be good for diabetics? We're doing a food review today, so let's find out. Hi everyone, my name is James Marin. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. We're gonna be reviewing the Nutrisystem chocolate chip cookie, which they say is good for diabetics, okay? So let's get into it, let's review it, and let's find out if it's really good for diabetics. So here we are, we're actually on the Walmart website just so I can show you the box of Nutrisystem because oddly enough on the Nutrisystem website, it just gives me a picture like, like this, it doesn't show me the box. So anyway, let me show you the box here. This is the Nutrisystem D, it's specifically for diabetes. On the box it says, helps you manage diabetes. If you could see there, there's a little asterisk. Uh-oh, let's see what that says. So a lot of people don't notice that. They just say, oh, Nutrisystem. Diabetes, great, helps you manage diabetes. Ooh, chocolate chip cookie, all right. Helps keep blood sugar levels steady. One carb choice per serving. Okay, so let's look at the little asterisk. So this says, so initially it says, right, helps you manage diabetes if, so what the asterisk means, if you're using the Nutrisystem D program, okay? so. If you're not using the Nutrisystem D program, what they're basically saying is this is very unlikely to help you manage your diabetes, okay? And we have to look more into that program. We'll probably do that in another video is maybe review their entire program and see what it's about. But, okay, what they're saying here helps you manage your diabetes if you're on their program. If not, you might be in trouble. So let's take a look though. Okay, so we have their chocolate chip cookie. Satisfy your cravings for chocolate with this classic favorite prepared just for your program. Rich, sugar-free chocolate chips abound in these crunchy cookies that go perfectly with a glass of fat-free milk. They're sure to hit the spot whenever you're craving a little something sweet and decadent. Okay, so let's see, where were there? Oh yeah, we go down, okay. Nutrition facts, okay, we'll look at the nutrition facts. Remember, this is not that important. Nutrition facts are not the most important part that I recommend you look at, okay, because they're inaccurate, they're sub subjective to your health, your metabolism, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So calories, 150, fat, okay, some saturated fat, carbohydrates, so some fiber, and sugar, and some protein, okay? More importantly, let's look at ingredients, okay? So here we go. Remember, first ingredient's what's most, second ingredient, second most, third ingredient, third most, and so on, okay? So the first ingredient is vital wheat gluten. Here we go. So you might be mistaken mistaken this with whole wheat. Vital wheat gluten is not a whole wheat, okay? So this is just a wheat gluten. It's a processed form of wheat where they're just adding vital wheat gluten. Again, if you have uh, celiac disease, this is not something you want to take or eat. Next ingredient is oats. Now here again, it, it's a little tricky. You might think of just oats, but in order for it to be whole oats, it should say 100% whole oats, or at, at the very least, whole oats. So again, this is a processed oat product. Butter, which we know butter is again going to contain trans fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol, which are the causes of diabetes. We have sugar-free chocolate chips, which contain sugar alcohol, more sugar alcohol, uh, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, and vanilla. Again, sugar alcohols, you don't want to have too much sugar alcohols. It can cause maldigestion, which means you're not going to absorb the nutrition from other foods, diarrhea, and other GI pain like bloating, maybe upset stomach. If you're already having IBS symptoms or constipation or diarrhea already, this is something you'd want to avoid. Brown sugar. So on top of processed ingredients, fat, and sugar alcohol, now you're still getting brown sugar and sugar, which are processed refined sugars that are gonna spike your blood sugar. Here we have resistant maltodextrin, and this is a special form of maltodextrin, okay? And uh, this is basically just a, a derivative of corn products. Um, they add that in there, that'll add some fiber, and then eggs, vanilla, bicarbonate of sodium, okay? So looking at everything I just said, looking at these ingredients, is this the most optimal, you know, ingredients even for a cookie? Like I would rather you guys quite honestly get a cookie with some oats or some whole wheat 
and real chocolate chips and, you know, whatever else, I mean, you know, milk and whatever, use some just real ingredients as opposed to these semi-real processed ingredients, you know, sugar, alcohol, and then just a bunch of added sugar, okay? So what we're seeing here when we go back to the nutrition facts, you know, those eight grams of sugar from refined sugar, dietary fibers just added from this like modified maltodextrin where, where your body doesn't really process it as a, as a food, so it's technically a fiber. You're getting protein from egg and maybe some milk fats that were in there, the butter fats or butter protein. And again, that's the saturated fats probably coming from the butter and the egg. So overall, you know, this isn't really quality ingredients, okay? This is somewhat, you know, trickery. And especially when we look again on the front where it says helps you manage diabetes, right? Where it says helps keep blood sugar levels steady. Added sugars, refined sugars, and animal fats do not keep blood sugar steady, okay? And with those highly processed ingredients, it's easy to overeat. So again, if this is one carb choice per serving, and we now know a serving is one package, okay, you, you are more likely to maybe eat two packages or three packages or four packages, depending on the size, and overeat and still be in trouble with your diabetes, okay? So I hope this makes sense. Let us know in the comments down below if you have questions. But I hope you can understand ingredients are very important and these ingredients are not quality ingredients. Mass trickery, right? So I hope that was a very informative review. I hope you learned a lot. And I'm your dietitian. I'm here to be another layer of support for you. I'm here to give you knowledge. I'm here to share my experience and really show you how these food companies try to trick you and how these food companies use verbiage and use little tiny texts and little tiny words and weird sounding ingredients that you don't really have in your kitchen and uh, ingredients that seem or maybe sound healthy but really aren't because when you really dig deeper and know what these ingredients are you find out that they're not ideal okay so I hope this helps learn more learn more about what to eat learn more about how to defeat and beat your type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes and improve your type 1 diabetes that is all possible so click the link below in the description learn more about food learn more about what foods to eat learn more about how to easily incorporate these foods into your everyday life. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, share this with friends and family, give us a thumbs up, and as always, have a wonderful day.